Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Kigan. And your girl Fanny Lungo. And we are Fanny, Fanny and Jesse. So tonight, today, we're gonna react to run away from this. Huh? From this person. Oh, okay. This person, Nabi, warned us. Nabi is like a prophet warned us. So, without any further ado, let's get it. Remember, the Messenger وسلم, speaks to symptoms and outcomes so that we can be more introspective about qualities and attitudes and traits that we might have. Abdullah ibn Umar عنهما, he reports that the Prophet وسلم, said an authentic hadith from the worst of sins to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet وسلم, would not share with us these traits if they weren't significant. When he says, Min a'lam al from the worst of sins, the most heinous of sins in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A man who marries a woman, and then once he gets what he wants out of her, once he gets what he wants out of her, and he already realizes he got what he wanted out of her, then he immediately leaves her, and then he doesn't even fulfill her mahar. Because he no longer has anything to gain from her. He had his fun, that was it, it was over. A person who gets into a relationship and then speeds up everything and becomes intimate. And then once he's done having fun, sends a text message, I'm done. What? You just entered into someone's life and went that far. And then a text message, I'm done. I'm seeing it more and more and more. You know, that's it. No longer of any use, no longer of any benefit. When people who have shared a significant amount of life together, husband and a wife, don't forget the good times between you. And suddenly you're trying to destroy that person because they no longer are an asset to you in every single way. Because you're no longer benefiting from that person. They're no longer of use to you. What are we, insurance companies? What's happening here? It's low, it's not manly, it's not womanly, it's not Muslimy, it's not human even. It's just not honorable. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying, this attitude is a problematic attitude. And it's always important when the Prophet ﷺ gives multiple examples because you can find the, the, the common denominator. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, وَرَجُلٌ اسْتَعْمَلَ رَجُلًا فَذَهَبَ بِأُجْرَتِهِ A person who employs someone, you know, gets everything out of that person, works them hard, takes their best years, takes their best talent, makes them all sorts of promises, and then once the job is done, they're not answering the phone anymore. It's low, very low, right? You, you got what you wanted out of the person, you got, they got the job done for you, MashaAllah, they could find you in a second and you could find them in a second when you needed them. Now that they've done what you wanted them to do for you, suddenly they can't get an answer out of you. Suddenly you start to dodge them. Suddenly you, suddenly you start to delay the payment. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your money, dear brothers and sisters. It's the tongue and the money that's gonna mess a lot of people up on the day of judgment. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the way that you deal with people. You know, the opposite of that, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi saying, pay a man before his sweat even dries. But we see it all the time in smaller capacities, right? You just disappear from someone when you no longer have a financial benefit from them. They can't find you anymore. It's low. It's not from the character of a Muslim. It's not from the character of an honorable person. It's not, from the, it's not befitting to a believer. It's a great sin in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa even connected it to how we would deal with the environment around us, with animals. وَآخَرُ يَقْتُلُ دَابَ عَبَثًا Prophet ﷺ said, someone who kills animals for fun. Yeah, we have that in our deen too. Allah did not leave anything around us except that He assigned rights to it. Because if you disregard human beings, then you're going to disregard animals, you're going to disregard your environment as well. Isn't that what we're witnessing right now in this radical individualism? That we're, we have no problem harming everyone and everything around us because at least in my circle, I'm not seeing the immediate harm. So I'm going to use as much of it as I can. Subhanallah, imagine if the Prophet وسلم, says that a person who harms an animal for fun, what then of a person who harms a human being for fun? What then of a person who actually starts to hurt people you know, in their livelihoods, in their reputation, in their, in their ird, and even in, their, in, in their, their very being for fun, to get a kick out of it? If this is the, the crime in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for an animal, if an animal shows up on the day of judgment, complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
about their rights. You know, SubhanAllah, there was one brother who Alhamdulillah had embraced Islam uh, after this past Ramadan. And he said it was the Judgment Day uh, series where we're talking about Yawm Al-Qiyamah. And I'm sitting here thinking he's gonna talk about, you know, this time of standing before Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala and how that meant something to him. And, you know, uh, how he thought about his Salah and his prayer. I'm thinking something grand. And he said, no, it was actually this part where you talked about a bird showing up on the Day of Judgment and saying, Ya Allah, قَتَلَنِي abathan. He killed me for no reason. He had no right to kill me. He killed me for absolutely no reason. And he said, while I was watching that, this bird landed right on my windowsill and stared at me. And I said, khalas, that's it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending me a message. But if the deen even assigned rights to that, what about your human being? What about your brother or sister in Islam? You don't just use people and then dispose of them. And in a world of consumerism, people become just as disposable as products. And when the Prophet ﷺ got back to Mecca, and the Ansar fought, naturally, the man is home. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I mean, we served him, we gave him what he needed, right? Maybe he misses home. Maybe he's gonna come back to Mecca now, the place of the Kaaba. And the Prophet ﷺ gathers the Ansar and says to them that not only am I coming back with you, but if the Ansar took a valley and everybody else took a valley a direction, I would go where the Ansar would go. If I could be an Ansari, I would be an Ansari. I am with you for the rest of my existence. Beautiful, didn't forget them. He could have sent them back home and said, Jazakumullahu khayra. And they may have understood. He's back home now and he's in Mecca where it all started. But no, I'm gonna be with the Ansar forever now. That's our messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's his individual shukur and how he didn't use you when he needed you and then disappear when he no longer needed you. Always, his heart was with you, his thoughts, his even if you didn't mention your favors to him, the Prophet ﷺ will mention your favors and remind you of what you did for him when no one else was there for him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now there's a community dynamic to this too. The solution, dear brothers and sisters, is you frequently, on an individual level, frequently remember the people who are there for you and reach out to them and thank you. Number two, visit people and check in on them with no agenda whatsoever. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned a man who went out to visit another man for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah sent him an angel. And the angel came to him and said to him, where are you going? He said, I'm going to visit this brother of mine. The angel responds with what? Hallaka alayhi min ni'ma tarubbuha. What's the ulterior motive? Do you owe him something? Does he owe you something? Are you going there like salam? Just want to say salam? No, you don't just want to say salam. Is there something underneath that visit? He said, لا غير أني أحببته لله. He said, no, no, I just love him for Allah. Then he said, know that Allah sent me to tell you that he loves you as you love your brother. Number three, don't throw away long-term relationships because of short-term ruptures. Number four, accustom yourself to charity with no benefits. لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا. To giving to people without wanting anything in return from them. Number five, as a community, we take care of our elders who gave us so much and we do better to make sure our volunteers don't burn out. This was interesting to watch. Um, I think in life you have to be intentional. Don't just do something for the sake of... Do you understand? Like he mentioned, one of the reasons you should do something is like just check on... Some of the things you should do is just check on someone. Be intentional with your visit. You're going to see how they're doing fine. You can't, I, I don't know, relationships these days are very, very complicated. That's why when you're with someone, be intentional is what I want to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Do you have anything to say? Um, you see, um, the system has made us become what we are today. Um, trust me, when, when, when you see two kids growing up at a tender age, you will never see what we call, I wanna use this because of that and this. No, they will always be there helping, trying to do this, trying to do that. Until when now we grow up and start seeing things, watching, uh, but then trying to sometimes you want to go to your cousin's house because they have that toy you don't have exactly but I then mean we're not looking we don't see it as used in this context. exactly like we don't understand those terms 
you know but when you grow up once you understand those terms now you start becoming that now he's trying to tell us that we, sh we should asso we should not associate ourselves with such kind of people but again in life we have to understand that whether you like it or not they're going to be parasites they're going to be attached to you you know it's upon you Meaning. to throw yourself into a deep where there are those anti parasites where they can come out of you and then once they are out now you understand that yes i know this is a parasite that is a parasite this is a parasite let me associate not let me disassociate myself with this type of people but how are you going to realize that this is a parasite and this is not just by the way they are talking to you by the way they want to uh familiarize with you and all those kind of things now um if if today we want something from 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 anything we see yeah if i see jesse is a good photographer uh, because i feel i love pictures i've been on instagram and i admire some pictures i want to associate myself with jesse so you've seen the interest in yourself to be with jesse because he's a photographer now me being there i've not seen anything to actually uh be with you but i feel like okay since your photographer no since you're uh maybe a model or what no maybe you want to be in this space let's just try but the moment i'm in that space now we are trying to work things out then after getting what you want now you tend to fall out because you've gotten what you wanted i'll be standing there looking at it like she used me or maybe he used me because of this particular thing and um i mean this have been i mean it has been there since um time and memorial you understand you identify one particular thing it's just like the way you identify uh, a, a stock that is that you want to go in there and put your money do you understand and it doubles up i don't get it why hmm? let me bring you back to this do you understand you're using examples out of this i understand what you're saying but then why am i making sense somehow but you're going to stocks you've lost me what i'm saying is why get with someone if after two days you're going to say you know what i've been with funny i'm tired of funny let's end this there relationship there are people like that yeah you know? there are people like yeah. that but that's what that's what he's hmm. trying to like don't be those people that's why i said be intentional if i want to be with you then it should be not i'm dead jesse just for a year see how it goes let me eat his money but do they come like that do they come to you intentionally wanting to eat your money i'm advising people to be intentional. yeah 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 exactly but now i mean only i'm going to know that i want you for your money yes exactly i, I wouldn't know that i'm going to pack it you know? myself well exactly I, so I but that is even dangerous I shouldn't packaging be that yourself in a way that you 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 don't want to show that i want the money but i want it but in but the end so once they get that money he mentioned mm -hmm. money in this thing mm -hmm. do you understand we shouldn't be those people it's true i mean uh, try to disassociate yourself with that because those kind of people good people that we meet in life i feel like relationships are give and take do you understand it is because there's some maybe i'm offering you peace maybe you're offering me no it is it is a win-win if you if we're coming together you have to identify that okay as every, a lady every relationship you are seeing this man as a potential guy yeah this guy is going to offer me protection guidance uh, probably give me one or two things wealth and all this kind of protect me with my child with my children and whatnot you see once you identify that me as a man what is it that i want from you so it should be an exchange of of uh it can be value it can be anything that is benefiting the two of you or benefits me you understand and in return i reciprocate back to you but the idea is this do everyone wants to do that there are friends out there that i know 
forget, forget they will always come to the you. people that don't want something mm -hmm. genuine forget the people that don't want anything serious mm -hmm. do you understand that's another group that's what i'm saying the group of people who are totally different the way they were built is different but who built these guys like this society exactly it's the system that is designing us to be like that now i feel like just our minds the way we think have been corrupted yeah, it's, because it's true. sometimes sometimes you can you see the potential i'm speaking for ladies i have female friends i'm a lady i'm speaking for ladies not mm -hmm. men sometimes you can see the potential in this man but he's toxic do you understand i think in such a situation leave you can't change a man that doesn't want to change someone should see that you're trying and stick by you or work with you also sometimes when we're in relationships the mistakes that we're i think making, there's a mistake that most people don't go in there in, in, for an intention to change somebody you know oh no you're going to waste your time you're going to have headaches exactly. what i'm saying is Just the mistake we're making nowadays is um we want to be in the best of relationships but my advice is from a movie on netflix do you understand i want that storyline i want that perfect mm -hmm. yes you have to know in relationships after, after, you're going what's to that argue. movie that you watch part but one then, part two part three what's that movie but <laughs> which one is i don't know but, after life after what after so this so you're attacking what i like <laughs> No, I'm just saying that people who are like nope. staunch following that particular Excuse series me, what I'm and they want it to happen like that. What I'm trying to say is you have to know there's ups and downs to a relationship. Be with someone who wants to stick Are we basing you. this on relationship or what? He was talking about relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Babe, throw me off my, line, no, my thought line. Them. What I'm saying is... You have to be with someone that's willing to love you in your good times, your bad times, but don't let the bad times be more than the good, you know? That's why you can be with someone for years, but then they just say one thing and you're like, nope, you don't have to be that person. I think it's because that from the beginning, you've not established yourself to be this kind of a person. And I see where the pretense comes in, in a relationship. Most of the people, they don't know each other that much. So you're in there to impress. You're in there to show your partner that I can do much or I can do this. So once it sinks then in... how long are you going to no, pretend let me that finish. you can do? Once it sinks in that, you know what? Okay, we are in a, we are, we are in a, in a position now to move to another stage where it can be marriage or proposing and all those kind of things. And people realize people understand each other even more once now they are fully locked in and the, and the thing is that's why you start I, I saying i beg to differ i beg no. to differ that's why I you start saying people as a woman behaving as a woman behaving differently no it can be both sides i'm not saying as a woman I, I mean i'm not talking here that's what I'm, saying. I'm generalizing woman, gender here i'm not a saying woman, i beg to differ okay you beg to differ as long it's as you've got that money you. that i want uh -huh. it's not best on me mm -hmm. as long as you've got that money that i want mm -hmm. i can pretend for 10 years i know women can pretend for even 100 years until, until you that propose. Day when he dies and then That's when we settle where... down married and everything things change How it's true it's truly? true it's true no it's one true. waits for okay now i want to get married let me show this person my no it's true and that's why we should go into our true <laughs> yeah. self and understand the kind of people you want to associate with but which you, is going to be really hard to but then that's hard identify that's very very hard i can't it's be not the really same hard. person you met five years ago of course people the, change the person you met for people example, change if i'm going to give us as an example the person that you met was quiet was quiet if i was uh, if i was going to give uh, no, me as was, an example i was the person who was initiating all the talks that's what I'm saying. I was yes. quiet, but am I quiet now? You are no. quiet. You are not quiet now because I taught you how to not be quiet and be bold enough when it comes to such things. What you taught me how to speak? Yeah. Mimi, you're what quiet. Was my word? You're quiet, Mimi. You what couldn't even utter a word. word. What Do you was know my that? First word? Which word? Since you taught me how to speak. No, I don't know. I kind of just <laughs> say, you know what, let's figure out something. But what, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Um, be in a position to identify 
the kind of energy that is following you. The energy Very changes. Important. It changes, but if you Even can see this is... characteristics of someone changes. I know it changes, you evolve. but for how you long change. You are you going to change a new manners? And where do you pick up these manners from? Do you understand? It can be within and it can be external. Ming Ming, today, if you take me to the jungle, I will tend to understand what the jungle wants from me or what the jungle needs from me. Do you understand? So, the people you associate yourself with, who are the people you're with, who are the people you talk to, who are the people mm -hmm. you sleep with, who are the people that you um, work with. Do you understand? Very important. From there, you can be in a position to understand that I know myself. But the most important thing here is okay, so what? understand who you are first. Okay. Oh, I love that one. Yes. So what's your, that's your advice? Yes, understand who you are and what you want. Mm. Once you set that goal right there, you'll find yourself not... As, even if someone calls you for, you'll you know what, we're having so a braai at this place, blah, blah, blah. You'll find yourself saying no. Not even saying no, you'll find a way I think to if just you move understand out of that. Yourself, you, um, don't get yourself into relationship after relationship after relationship after relationship. Do you understand? Like I said, at the end of the day, I think just be intentional. Be intentional. Have a purpose. Why do I want to be with this person? Why am I with this person? Am I doing what I want to do? All those things, otherwise. I want to say, back in the days, women were so good at just telling that this is the guy I want. I don't know what changed. We have guys that think that. I don't know what do changed. You, that's what I'm saying. I want to speak for women. I'm not a guy. A I don't understand. identify a guy. And but some men just, are bullies. No. I'm saying a woman will identify a guy and it will just go that way. Uh, now. We have, we have these bullying. kids out there who because they just want to go out there and have fun. Yes. We're in the wrong generation, trust me. No, we're not. No, we no, are. No, we're not. I, as much as you don't want to a, agree I'm with that, we are. a strong believer in relationships. Are. There's nothing wrong with being in a relationship. There's nothing wrong with that. Are you in the right relationship? That's the question. How many people out there are going to ask them, do you want to be in a relationship? Partners who want to be in relationships, but the things that we're doing are saying otherwise. Actions exactly. speak louder than you words. See, you see, no. Why should I be in a relationship mm -hmm. with you, but every weekend I'm out in the club drinking? You see? Yeah. Why should I be in a relationship with you, but most of the time that I spend, I'm outside the house? But what are you doing outside the house? Do you understand? Okay. You can be in a... Meaning, no one is stopping you from doing what you want to do, but what is it that you're doing out there that is making the other person feel some type of way? Another thing That's is... That's why you discuss. Another thing... If it's yes, bothering you that I'm true. outside all the time, it's true. and if I really but, want to be in a relationship, then I'm bound to adjust. To exactly. But don't be the kind of a person that you're in a relationship to control that guy's whatever thing That's that what he's I'm saying. doing. Men nowadays... I don't... That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The issue here... Speaking for women again, mm -hmm. the issue is the fact that by me wanting to know where you are after mm -hmm. work is not controlling you. No. A man who knows that he wants to be in a, a man who There's knows he's in a relationship, no, I don't have to ask. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You on your end, mm -hmm. because I've communicated this before, mm -hmm. you should let me know that I am here. Mm -hmm. You That's not controlling someone. Trust no. me, that's not controlling someone at all. I'll tell you one thing about men. You know, listen. badness. You men when, when want to be in relationships but act single. That can that's be. That's why a arguably, woman is going to stand up and say, "You know what? This is not for me." It's not On to acting the next single. One. It's not acting that's, single. Listen, listen, Ming Ming. But you're missing the point. I don't mind you if don't someone asks me, "Where you were you?" Don't see from the, where were you? I don't have There's to nothing. ask you where were exactly. you. Exactly. Tell I mean, me, you yourself. You've got a phone. Ming -ming. Technology now has broken all barriers. There's nothing wrong. Someone can you tell you what? where I... I mean okay, Lema. I tell you, I'm at Le Mans now, yeah? I'm coming shortly. Don't say shortly if you're going to take three hours. Terminology. Okay, I'm just saying, <coughs> hypo hypothetically, I'm saying I'm going to come in the next 30 minutes, yeah? 
Then I end up probably with my longtime friend and we end up chatting. Do you understand? We end up chatting. Anything can happen with me, yeah? Anything can happen. Anything Again, can you happen. still have your phone. I get, yes. You call home and say, you know what? I'm caught up. Exactly. I can call. I'm caught up and what and blah blah blah. Do you understand? But again, Ming Ming, sometimes you're carried away. You just want to talk and talk and talk and talk. So in that aspect, do you still want to be in a position where you're mad because of your guy not telling you why he spent more than 30 minutes? Be in a position to understand, number one. Let the man... Do you know if that happens, a man will just come to you and tell you, you know what, by the way, I met a long-time friend and we had a chat. I told you this, I'm coming at this time, blah, blah, blah. That, that's a genuine man and an honest man. But if every time a man comes home and always, every time you're asking that man, where were you? Then it becomes so bad for him to even reveal himself wherever he goes to. Because he finds it more, more, um, um, he, find, he finds it more awkward for someone to ask him where he was when you know where. Let's say, for example, you know, you know your man's um, where he goes to after work, probably goes here, he goes here, he goes here, he goes. But again, you still ask, where were you from? Where are you coming from? And all those kind of things. Do you understand? I think it's just all about understanding. Let the man explain to you, to you that this is what. And it's going to be open enough for a man to actually be open to you when he, he understands that you're so mature enough to let him speak but not question him. Do you understand? Interrogating him. Where were you? What were you doing? That's why what is this? Late, what is that? What is as, this? As soon as exactly. someone reaches, exactly. as soon as I reach home, Give I, should, him the chance I should be able to say, I'm sorry I'm late because of this. this. Exactly. I shouldn't be. Yes. Okay. I shouldn't come You're home saying, and say, yes. why haven't you edited and posted our yes. video? Yes. Yes, Mimi. So I shouldn't. Because before someone comes in, give him the chance. Welcome him in the right way. Then what? The man will present himself in a good way. Now, I'm going to respond to what you know? you've said. As a woman, mm -hmm. I personally believe in there's something that you said, energy. Mm -hmm. I respond accordingly. If I'm in a relationship, someone is acting like I don't exist, I'll act accordingly. I'll know my place in your life. Why is he and acting, I'll stay away why from is you. He acting like that? How am I supposed to know? I'm not a man, I don't In life, we should try and put ego and pride away because the thing is, these are the things that is actually burning down a lot of relationships. And it's not ego, it's we're, more, we're both busy. So, if I take time to do something, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm a believer in returning, act accordingly, and being intentional. So, for me to pick up my phone and wish you a happy birthday mm -hmm. or call you on your birthday. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I'm taking time out of my day. Even if I send someone to bring you a coffee, mm -hmm. the least I expect is I surprised you with the coffee. Mm -hmm. You didn't expect it. There's that guy that you always send at work. Mm -hmm. You guys send. You didn't see me. I've sent you coffee. So that's why I'm saying. Are you telling me you just can't pick up your phone mm -hmm. less than 60 seconds mm -hmm. to say thank you? I've of course, the coffee. of course, you can, you can, Ming Ming, you can pick the, you can pick the phone and text back. And that's but the, again, the thing is, not text back. I yeah, haven't texted see, to say I'm you sending see, you coffee. You or see, that's why I'm saying. That's why. Have you received the coffee? Ming Ming, that's why I'm saying this, man. Your assistant you see the way the is system, coming to you and do you saying, see the way the this, system? this is from funny. Yes. You can't of course, just I'm going to say thank you, but it also depends on the kind of work you're doing, Ming Ming. Ah,